71-year-old Randy Duke Cunningham is a former Navy pilot and distinguished war veteran. His 15 years in Congress ended abruptly after he was convicted of conspiracy to commit bribery, mail, and wire fraud and tax evasion. He accepted more than $2 million in bribes from defense contractors, earning him the title of the most corrupt congressman in America. My guest, journalist Dean Kelbreth, was part of the Union Tribune's Pulitzer Prize winning team, which exposed Cunningham's crimes and led to his arrest and conviction. Dean, welcome back. Hi, thanks. At his sentencing back in 2005, Cunningham wept and expressed remorse, but on his way out of court, you have said he didn't really say that was really the truth, right? Right, right. He, he, what we've heard is that out of the way, on the way out of court, he turned to the bailiff and he said, you know, they got this all wrong. And that his guilty plea was really a mistake, right? Uh, he has since said uh, that his guilty plea was, was a mistake, that he was talked into it by his lawyer. One of, remind us of the charges again. I, I rattled through some of them. But in, in general, this is, was about him, basically, the legality of him profiting as a congressman? Yeah, basically, um, you know, he oversaw the Pentagon budget, the CIA budget. Uh, he had two contractors, a, you know, and he was taking in a lot of political contributions from contractors contractors all over the country in order to uh, to advance their causes to the Pentagon. Uh, but this went beyond that. He uh, was taking gifts from two particular uh, contractors, one in Washington, one in Poway, gifts including a $2.5 million house uh, in Rancho Santa Fe, including a Rolls Royce, uh, fancy dinners, fancy vacations, a couple of prostitutes in Hawaii. Um, you know, it, it was a, a wide variety of things, 17th century commodes that you know and and uh, multi-thousand dollar Persian rugs that he furnished the house with right so pretty extravagant and pretty visible it wasn't yes. like he was hiding these these gifts remind us of you were at the San Diego Union at the time that uh, you wrote this yes. uh, with, with a couple of other journalists uh, Marcus and uh, Jerry uh, what prompted you at the beginning what did you say? Uh, something's not right here. Was it the Rolls Royce or something else? Well, Marcus Stern, who is a reporter for us in Washington, D.C., uh, he um, was investigating Cunningham for, uh, was investigating all our local congressmen for something totally different, for uh, airplane rides that they had uh, taken, whether they had taken any. Cunningham had taken one, which is totally unrelated to this, but when he, he found out about that airplane ride, you uh, paid for by a local contributor. Um, he started looking at other things, and one of the things he looked at was his house, and he found out that his house had, in Del Mar. In, right. in Del Mar, mm -hmm. he had found out that his house in Del Mar had been purchased at an extravagant price uh, by somebody who had sold it later, uh, six months later, at a major loss. Mm. Um, and this was at a time when uh, property in San Diego was not going down. So he. Um, um, uh, so Marcus followed this up and found out that this was a military contractor who had basically been had been kind of paying off Cunningham uh, with this uh, overage on the uh, house. Inflated a, a cell of his house, so that perked exactly. up your ears. And, and then it went on from there. He found a, a, a yacht, a small yacht that the um, congressman had purchased, I mean, that the uh, contractor had purchased, and it just went on and on. Did you actually uh, talk to uh, Cunningham when you were doing this story? Did you tell him, hey, look, I've got this information. Will you talk to me? I talked to him. I talked to him um, uh, about, um, you know, I was talking to him about uh, military contracts as well, and he was happy to be answering those questions. Uh, I turned it to, the, to a free vacation that he had taken where he had wrecked an ATV that had been given to him by, by one of the bribers. Um, and uh, he answered a few questions on that, and then he said, uh, sorry, i got to talk to my lawyer. When you told him this is going to be published or when he knew finally that, look, this is turning into an investigation, did he ever respond and say, wow, did I blow it? Did he tell you anything like that? No, he talked, uh, his main conversation on the topic was with Mark Stern, uh, and he told Mark Stern that he had done um, 
some favors in Washington for one of the bribers. Uh, and to that, uh, you know, that constituted quid pro quo, which is the legal definition of bribery. Uh, uh, so Mark Stern wrote a story about that. That was the initial story. And that was uh, what got the federal prosecutors involved. Okay, got him going. Um, he's going to be on probation for three years. I understand that he might be moving to a, a cabin in Arkansas. Do you know anything else that he, his plans? Yeah, a year ago, he said he was going to move to a cabin in Arkansas near his 100 year old mother and near his brother. Um, uh, you know, he said it would be hunting and fishing, but now it turns out, uh, it, more recently he said he's going to go to Florida and be with um, some old Navy uh, colleagues, but he's not coming back to San Diego. Okay, and we haven't heard anything for sure. Dean Calbert, thanks so much for uh, your work on this and for uh, giving us an update. Sure enough.